Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Giuseppe Mamano. Today we are going to paint this cannolo, Sicilian cannolo. I'm using oil. That's my palette. Now the first mixing that I'm gonna, before the mixing, let's see what color I'm using. I have titanium white, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, burnt amber, magenta, Indian yellow, cadmium yellow light, and cadmium red light. Okay, the first mix mixing uh, on this block in, I'm trying to get a, a tone there. I don't try to get the perfect color yet because I'm gonna paint a la prima, wet on wet, but usually what I do, I just give a very uh, light coat first coat using kind of middle tone and cover up all my canvas first and after go back and start to match up all the color and do details. So you see that I put some color there using some burnt amber, titanium white and after I did my dark with the ultramarine blue and burnt amber. Now adding some titanium white, I'm getting some light tone. Now in the first step of this painting, I'm going very, I try to don't look for details. So what I do is squint my eyes, see the form and color, try to mix something that's pretty similar and put in the canvas. My combination of color are, try to, are not very complicated. I try to make it very easy, so it's easier for me. I don't wanna waste lots of time on this first step of the painting. So even if I cut some of this video, I think I did this video, this, this painting in 30 minutes. I cut just some parts when I was like um, uh, doing nothing, just watching and look at my subject. So still what I'm doing here over and over, using almost the same combination, add some dark, and after I go from dark to middle tone and light. So now that I complete the canola, I'm gonna do some uh, background. Now the way to paint like this, you see that I that I put my my subject like just next to me. This makes it very very easy, more simple, because you can match the color more easy because you have just right there. You can even get the color in your brush and make put it near subject and see. Now I got here some mixing for the shadow. I use some ultramarine blue, cobalt blue and a little bit of uh, magenta and just a touch of titanium white. This was very fun doing this carnival, especially because at the end I eat it is one of my favorite thing to eat. When I was uh, living in Sicily, uh, there where they, where the cannoli come from, from Sicily, they were very, very good and, and bigger than this. This is a small cannoli. They sell uh, Walmart and it tastes very good. It tastes very good. It's very similar to the original. Now start doing some little details. So what I do, I try still every time, every brush stroke, what I do, I like squint my eyes and try to see, I see better the tone and the color. You can see already, the canal is uh, it's getting pretty, pretty good. 
And you can see from my palette that I didn't change much the palette, the, my mixing. I keep uh, simple. Keeping simple sometimes is better. Now, I always use uh, from first mixing a little bit of burnt amber and ultramarine blue. I always put in all the mixing because ultramarine blue and burnt amber mixing together, they get a very, very dark color, almost black. If you add some, if you do half and half and add some white, you get like a gray. So put this combination of two color after if you wanna, if I wanna in the red side or the yellow side, add the red or the yellow, at least it get the saturation down. You see now that I'm going in some details now, but still using uh, the same brush. I did this painting almost all with the same brush. I want to keep it loose, and uh, but I will add some details. Now you can see that I just grab some color here and there and my palette at this point is a mess, but I like it like that because if I have all my color there already. So if I need, I can just maybe grab some paint for my, for my palette and mix it with already painting that I have. You can see in the palette that I have my light, my middle tone and my dark. So everything is more easy. Painting like this really help yeah, very, very good exercise. You guys should try, like next, put uh, somehow next to your subject and paint just next to it. Now at this point, I just, I was pretty happy already for the result, but at this point, you gotta decide if it's done or add a couple of details, more details. You decide when the painting is done. More you look at your subject, more you see stuff. Sometimes it's better um, get away for a couple of minutes on the painting and come back with fresh eyes because of looking, sometimes what happens is looking uh, the same subject in your paint over and over, your eyes get too used to. So have a little break, you help a lot. So now at this point, you just uh, move here and move there, add some paint until I'm happy with this. It was a very quick painting. It came out pretty nice. If you want to learn how to paint, you should do a painting like this every day. Grab every, anything that you have in the house and just paint it, anything. Sometimes I look around and if I find something, say, okay, I never paint this. And I just paint it. You learn. You're not going to be a masterpiece that you're probably going to sell in galleries, but that's just uh, for you, for learn. Practice is the best thing you can do every day. If you do every day, you will see the result. And here, I'm pretty done, pretty much done with this painting. I hope you guys enjoy this little video. I want to post it to let you see that sometime when you don't know what to paint, uh, just grab anything you have in the house, food or anything, anything you have in the house and just put it next to you and grab some brush and paint and do a little painting. It's very relaxing and good exercise. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon.